Hey guys, Gino Zero, how you doing? I hope all is well in YouTube land, whatever part of the world that you are in. Okay, uh, I'm gonna make a pickled salad. I'm gonna take some salad stuff and I'm gonna pickle it. I'm always trying to, to try new ideas and new ways to try to preserve the stuff that we grow in our garden uh, and or fresh vegetables uh, to try to keep them as flavorful and healthy and as long as we can. And I'm gonna try to pickle some stuff together uh, you remember back in the summer we did a, I did a video on uh, making bread and butter pickles uh, and I've got a lot of this pickle brine left, the sweet bread and butter pickle brine that I'm going to try to uh, pickle some salad with. So we'll see what happens we'll see how it turns out. What I've got here is some cauliflower uh, and I've got some carrots. Uh, these cauliflowers I just cut the uh, florets off in little, little chunks. The uh, carrots, so we sliced them uh, real thin lengthwise and we've got a couple of them that we sliced real thin uh, into rounds. And then I've got some of my bread and butter pickles here, the cucumbers that we grew in the garden. We got some of those. I tried to make about equal amounts, but we'll see how well it works out. Here I've got half a cabbage that is shredded. Um, and yeah, I made some videos on uh, uh, making sauerkraut and preserving the cabbage like sauerkraut. But uh, if this works out, this sweet pickled uh, salad thing here should be really, really good and still keep a, a lot of the health benefits that you would have uh, if you made a sauerkraut. So what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to try to mix all this stuff up together in this bowl to try to distribute it evenly. And remember, if you don't make a big mess, you're doing it wrong. So once we get it all kind of mixed together, then I'm going to take this uh, other half gallon jar that we got here from, uh, like we had regular pickles in it or something at some point, but it's a half a gallon jar. And I'm going to just start stuffing my salad mix into this jar. It would probably work better if I had a funnel, but what do you do? I don't like making a big mess. I'm going to try to stuff this jar as full as I can get it with this salad mix here. spoon and try to pack it down in there. Looks like that might just gonna be just about enough to fill this jar up. That's that was good. That was about a half a cabbage by the way too. A half of a normal sized cabbage. Goodness, I should have used a funnel. I'm getting salad everywhere, but oh well. Like I said, I hope this works. I think it will work. It should work in theory. All these vegetables should pickle just fine. Um, and it should turn out to be a really good, good tasting salad that you can have as a side dish with, uh, with any of your meals that you're going to prepare. And uh, if you're like us and you grow a nice big garden, you're oftentimes trying to figure out what can I do with all this produce, what can I do with all this stuff from the garden and keep it fresh for uh, for future use. So, all right, so I got my jar filled up with the salad mix here. Now I'm going to do is take our extra brine that we've got here, this extra brine mix, give it a good shaking up, make sure that it's all mixed thoroughly. And then I'm just going to pour it over the top until I fill up the jar. Like that, let it bubble for a second. Pack it in, bubble out all the air bubbles. Let it settle down. And now all I'm gonna do is I'm going to put on the lid to the pickle jar and I'm going to put this in the refrigerator for uh, about two weeks and see if it starts pickling and we'll give it a taste test in a couple of weeks uh, to see how it's going to pickle and how well it's going to hold up and uh, what it tastes like and uh, we'll go from there so we'll see you guys in a couple of weeks 
Okay guys, we are at the two week mark. Um, we're gonna pull out this uh, pickled salad concoction here. Uh, every few days or so, I walk by the refrigerator, I pull it out, make sure the lid was tight, kind of shake it up and move it around a little bit. And uh, now we're gonna see how it came out, if it's gonna come out. It smells like bread and butter pickles. Get a little bit here off of the top. Mm. That's pretty good. <laughs> it is pretty good. Bread and butter pickle brine. Mm. Well, there you go. If you like bread and butter, uh, this turned out really well. By all means, use what you're into as far as vegetables and brine go. If you like more dilly, you know, use dill pickle brine, whatever it is that you're into. If anybody who's watching this is a, a vegan, uh, let me know if this will work as a uh, as a vegan side dish or something. Because if it does, I may want to take some up to my neighbors and let them have it because they're vegans. So let me know in the comment section. I think it worked out fine. It tastes really good. And uh, I'm going to use it. So now we know. Uh, now I know another way that we can store our vegetables and uh, put them to good use. And they taste delicious. And uh, you got to love it. So there you go. I uh, hope this helps. You guys, thanks for watching. Y'all have a great day. God bless. In the end. Buzz, buzz. The end.